Hey what's up guys, Chaos Theory here and I decided I want to make a video that's a little bit different. I am going to show you some little facts and tricks and tips that um, a lot of new players won't know and some of them a lot of veteran players might not know. Like these are some of the things that like after six years or five years of playing, I forget how much long I've been playing, I've been playing on and off. Um, I didn't even know these. Um, some of them are pretty amazing. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into that. So, yeah, first one. Okay, so before we get into the actual tricks and tips, I wanted just to make this little honorable mention. Um, you used to be able to level from level 1 to level 17, or 16, I believe, um, in actually level 17 yeah um in this just standing here in this outpost um if you went to an uh district that was completely empty like a place in asia or something like korean district and you got into the first wave of these guys and you stood right here when these guys killed them you would get experience from that and it used to be a great way to level i actually used that um exploit in one of my videos one of my um let's play guild wars with the necromancer um i'll link it probably in an annotation somewhere anyways they have patched that the white mantle up here no longer kill these guys and you can't get experience from them not killing them so this has been fixed but i would like to mention it because it was a very awesome bug while it lasted so yeah a major thing that most people underestimate is the fact that you can go into first person view while you are playing the game. Um, it's not very ethical. Is that the right word? Logical? I guess that's a better word. To use it while fighting and um, running or anything like that. But you get, for the scenery, you get to see a lot more than you used to be able to. Like, this little information. I have the orth. I have the orth. I have the north. In fact, has no real roof. It just has this little thing right here that I don't know what to call it. It's like almost an arena. So, if you're going to look around for scenery and you want to look for things that you might not be able to see otherwise, go into first person mode. There's a lot of stuff that you can see. So, if you want to take a group photo, and you don't want to go into your F11 options and um, uncheck everything to get a r rid of all your uh, HUD, there's a very simple um, key command that you can put in, uh, Control shift h and it'll take away the entire HUD, and you can still play. Um, if you use your hotkeys, they still work. Like, if you use your skill hotkey, you'll still use skills, but um, there's no HUD, so you can't use, like, any information or anything on here. And this is great for taking group photos, videos of, like, machinima, um, machinima music videos, whatever it is. And the nice thing is that you just hit Control shift h again, and your HUD pops up exactly where it was before. A very underestimated thing is that you can actually split a stack while it's just sitting in your inventory. You don't need to put it in a, like a trade window or anything like that to split it. So normally, if you dragged it, it would just put the the entire stack into another area. But if you hold down shift and then drag it drop into a new empty space, it'll ask you for the new stack size, say 43, split it evenly in half, and you will have two stacks and you can do that as many times as you want with any stack if you ever wanted to send a URL through Guild Wars you know how it's really annoying you have to go into your template code send a chat or not even send a chat you have to put the um, URL here like like Google whoops dot com in here and then you had to send a chat and then they could uh, load it up from there. Um, there's actually a very quick way to put it in. 
you just put in let's just say um, first bracket then the site which will be google.com for me semicolon and then two X's and that will send a equipment template but it will send it to google.com or any other um, template that you want to send so that's a very quick easy way to send a URL another very easy way to whisper a random person in the area like take chief two whiskers here um, if you select him then hold down control and then enter wow he left well let's do emo vicky then if you select the person then hold control and then enter it will automatically type in the person's name in there and it will start a whisper so you can send in anything you want and it will send it to whoever you have the whisper to. Another very neat trick is how to get through the back door of Bone Palace when you have not completed the quest yet. This can be useful for running people to Bone Palace and running people to Bone Palace and yeah, running to people to Bone Palace. Um, so it's very simple. All you gotta do is go to www.youtube.com wait for it not video reward spot let's try that again make sure it's youtube.com if it's not you'll go to the wrong link yeah the page should look like this I'm pretty sure you're on this site right now so I don't really need to explain that type in xxx chaos theory xxx in the search bar and then when you see one of the videos by xxx chaos theory xxx click on the channel and what you want to do is go down here there will be a subscribe button over here click on that and then you want to go into all of my uploads just say this raptor farm video and then you want to go up to it and if you haven't subscribed already shut up if you want you want to subscribe right here you want to press like and then you want to favorite this video and then you want to continue that with all of the all of my videos and all of my friends videos and pretty much everybody's videos it would be a very good thing to do and once you've done all that the door will be open to you for bone palace this one's probably more well known but in your um, guild list so big gray warrior or anybody in your friends list if you want to whisper them, you do not need to click on this guy and say send whisper. You can just double click them and you can send the whisper that way. And it works for your friends list as well. Okay, so if you have seen these cows around there, you know you cannot select them. You can't do anything to them like that. Um, normally you cannot attack these guys. But if you have point bank or PB AOE skills or point blank area of effect, which is, means that um, it has an area of effect around your character, not the, the target or target, not the target, um, you can kill these guys. So, just to give an example, see, I just killed him, and you can do this to all of them. Um, it's not really very useful, but it's something nice to know. As you may or may not know, henchmen and heroes cannot go through zone portals and zone for you. So what do they do when that happens? What they do is that if you flag them through a portal, they will teleport to your current location no matter where it is. Um, so this can be abused in a, quite a certain number of ways. For example let's just say that you are over here it can be anywhere like you can be over here across the map it doesn't matter as long as you're in the same zone um you can take your heroes if you're alive you can open up the mission map and then take your all flag and just put it a little bit behind uh, the portal that it is and make sure they're going the same direction and just wait a bit and they will teleport to you um, this can be used so that you can run to an area like a boss that you need to kill for an elite skill or a mob that you need to kill for a quest or something like that. You can run to the area you need to go and then you can teleport your heroes there and they can do all the fighting for you.
and if you watch me run the desolation, I use them in some other ways. Um, I'll probably, I think I get into it on my um, Let's Run the Desolation video, if you want to look that up, annotation above. And, yeah, that's all I can talk about with this little trick. So that's all the tips I'm going to give in this video. I'm actually thinking of making a couple more videos like this, maybe make it a series, because there's a lot of things that I can cover. Like, not only just, like, UI, um, little shortcuts and stuff like that, but more just, like, things that have been forgotten in the Guild Wars world that have been really cool in past times that, um, a lot of new players won't even know existed. Um, I can't really give any, any examples right now, but, um... Actually, a really good example is the really awesome um, crater right here. That thing's pretty awesome, and a lot of people just skip it because it doesn't have any relevance to any plot or anything. It's just there to look really cool. So just maybe like scenic areas or something like that. I don't even know. Um, the reason why I wanted to end up on this character is because this is Chaos Running, which is my new running character. He is a Dervish Assassin with a rank 8 Delver, rank 5 Slayer of Worms. He is completely and fully mi er, run up, er, running capable, and he is actually my new runner. And I'm going to summon a couple Snowman Summoners and drink this. So, yeah. Um, if you ever need a run, please PM me on Chaos Running. I'll probably be on this character, and I will probably be running on this character from then on. Um, so, yeah, um, that's really all I have to talk about. Um, there's still a lot of videos that I want to make, but I haven't had time because finals are coming up at my high school, and it's been a pretty busy week, so... Yeah. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and favorite. And as always, I hope you have a very nice day.